Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It is a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community, united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. At first glance, such a commandment can seem too demanding, can make heaven look so far out of reach, and the journey there even more difficult. Truly, it is difficult, for as Mother Teresa says, for love to be real, it must cost, it must hurt, it must empty us of self. The same can be realized if we look closely at what Christ says. Back in the Old Testament, God revealed Ten Commandments to His people, Israel. One may perceive it as merely a set of rules to follow. Yet in the New Testament, Jesus as the Word of God made flesh reveals to us their true meaning. They are our roadmap, something that can serve as our step-by-step -step guide as to how to love more deeply and more sincerely how to make space for a love that consumes and transcends all aspects of our lives. Our life with God, our life with our families, our life with friends, and more. All of it is rooted in one thing. Love. Because our God is a God of love Himself. Similarly, it is through this that we cannot say that we love God while denying our neighbor, the people who walk with us on our pilgrimage to heaven. Our faith tells us that this is so, as it is the foundation of everything that we do. It calls us to live in active and committed love, one that moves us to go out of ourselves and to reach out. It is a love that sees, that risks, and finds Jesus in the face of everyone around us even the last, least, and lost. Let us now pray the prayer to Santo Nino. O miraculous Santo Nino, we come before your sacred image, moved by love and by hope, and we beseech you to look mercifully into our troubled hearts. Let your own tender love, always inclined to compassion, mitigate our troubles and alleviate our sufferings. Take from us, if it be your will, all afflictions, and let us never surrender to despair. Grant us, Señor Santo Nino, the special grace we ask from you today. In all humility and with a loving trust, and for the sake of your sacred infancy, hear always our prayers. Be generous with your aid and consolation, that we may praise you in the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.